Hello Microsoft Word lovers. In today's video, we got a comment from a past video that says, great video, quick question. I imported a Canva template into Word via PDF, Docs, X, but now everything is movable. Logos, headers, etc. Is there a way to lock some parts like design elements and only allow editing in specific fields like name or ID? Because I don't want my logo to move when I add a lot of text. Would love your advice. We're going to go over to Microsoft Word. And I already opened a file here. It's a general resume. It's very plain. It doesn't have much design elements, but it does have these two lines here that are movable. I'm not sure why the top one isn't moving, but let's move this one, right? So as we move it, we see it could go in between the paragraphs and so forth, and we're gonna undo that. And also, if we like backspace, we could delete stuff. This video is going to be useful for persons who want to share their Microsoft Word documents with persons and they want to lock certain elements and they don't want to lock other elements instead of using a PDF. So let's first lock our text. Now, usually when persons want to separate text from a document in Microsoft Word, they would use a text box feature. But we're not going to use a text box feature because that's not convenient for what the comment on the video requested. We want to lock the text itself without having to go through all that work of putting it into a text box, especially since the document is already formatted. We go to file in your readable menu up here, click the file tab. We're going to come down to the left hand section in this pane and we're going to click info come over here in this pane and we will click protect document and in our drop down menu or pop up menu we click restrict editing and now there's some selections over here this section doesn't have to be selected but ensure that this section is selected where it says editing restrictions allow only this type of editing in a document we have it checked off there let's say we want persons to only have access to this paragraph and not to any other part of the document. Now we will select this paragraph only and then we will come over here to the right hand corner in the restrict editing pane and we will select everyone, meaning everyone won't be able to touch it. Now we could click the drop down menu and we could use different selections over here you could explore that that's not this type of video we just want to generalize and show you how to do this then we click uh yes start enforcing protection we click we put our password in we retype it to ensure our passwords match and we click ok now if we deselect what we selected you'll see the section in yellow that's an indication that we could edit this part of the document only. So let's try editing other parts of the document. Let's come down here to where it says skills. We click there, backspace, nothing will move. What about this line here that usually is movable? Click and hold, it's not moving. So the comment did mention logos not being able to move or you want to move your logos around, whichever one you select what you want and what you don't want to move or what you, it, whichever one, right? Now, right now, this line does not move. So everywhere in the document is locked. Now let's come here to the yellow selection and let's do some deleting, All right? Backspace, we're able to edit that section. All right, so let's undo all that deleting that we just did and let's do it in reverse let's say this is our make-believe logo we're gonna stop protection by coming down here in the restrict editing pane and clicking on stop protection in the bottom right hand corner we're gonna type our password stop protection or click OK all right now if we come back to the other side sections of the document one, two, three, we can now re-edit. So let's undo that. And when you come back into the document after stopping protection, this 
section that you highlighted is still highlighted. So let's come back over here and we unselect it by deselecting or unticking everyone and that selection will come off. Let's say we only want this line to move and we want the rest of the document locked. So we're going to select this line, come over here. Everyone is selected. Then we click yes, start enforcing protection. We have our password in here. We click OK. And we're going to move our line around. See, so let's say this is a logo and we want to move it around everywhere. It's moving everywhere on the document, but it's not troubling anything. Even though our text is shifting, when we move it up and down, it doesn't displace the text, if you understand what I mean. So let's say we want to leave it here. And then we want to come up here and make some adjustments. We still can't touch the rest of the document. Right, so let's undo that. Let's put back our line where it was. And that's how you lock text or design elements without using a text box in Microsoft Word. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't leave it out subscribing or sharing this video. And hit the notification bell to ensure that next time I upload a Microsoft Word tutorials only video, you'll be the first to know. I'll see you in the next one.